Federation held an award ceremony last night at Monte Cassino. This was the 10th award ceremony and this morning we are joined by Mapaseka Makanya, the Sportswoman of the Year winner and James Molloy, the President of the Central Gauteng Athletics. A very good morning to you two. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. I'm going to start good with morning. you, Mapaseka. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congra How does it feel? It's... It's an honor. It's an honor to be the Central Houghton Sportswoman of the Year, and we are really, we really appreciate being awarded for the hard work we do. Mm. All right. Now, James, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to you now. You run the biggest uh, athletics federation in South Africa when it comes to athletics. You know, what are some of the biggest challenges that you encounter? The biggest challenges that we encounter in most cases is that uh, funding is a problem. You understand? Mm. But uh, with the little money that we've got at the present moment, we managed to save and, and try to put money for, for development because okay. development is a key because we are preparing for the uh, Commonwealth and we are preparing for 2020. So it's so important to have development in place and, and camps for the athletes. Okay, so how do you aim to counter the challenges in terms of funding? Oh, at the present moment, we are applying to uh, a different corporate corporate companies that are helping us and even Lotto. So, but uh, people are coming forward to come and they are prepared to help us next year in terms of uh, overcoming those challenges. Mm -hmm. So, so we have tried our level best. They promise that uh, they are coming to help us in terms of finances. Okay. Those are the challenges that we encounter. But in terms of uh, development, we do have athletes that are prepared to work. But even now, athletes are participating without money. Mm. So they are doing their level best. If you can see, uh, South Africa came third overall in South Africa with 29 athletes that they've yeah. sent to uh, London. Mapaseka, one of, one of those athletes that were participating. So you can see that immediately when we receive uh, money, we can have a lot of athletes that are going to participate in the Commonwealth and other competitions that are coming in 2020. Okay. Now, Mapaseka, you are a winner, a hero, a victor, two weekends in a row. And last weekend, you just won the, the Soweto Marathon. Take us through the emotions that you felt after finishing the race. Um, initially, I hadn't entered for the Soweto Marathon. I was meant to run Shanghai Marathon, so uh -huh. I had to withdraw. Shanghai Marathon? Yes. Get out of here. I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to withdraw due to personal circumstances, mm -hmm. but um, I think two weeks before the marathon, I phoned Mr. President and said, can you please enter me for the marathon? Even if I come, I come fifth, because I'm unfit. Mm -hmm. But um, running the Soweto Marathon, running through the streets of Soweto, because I'm from Soweto, and the people around Soweto, the way they were cheering for me, I didn't realize that I was running faster than I thought I, I, thought I could have been. And coming second, we, it's been long since we've seen um, a Sowetan. I think it's over 10 years since we've seen a Sowetan in the podium. So I think I revived the spirit of not just Soweto uh, as uh, Ekasi, but for Soweto Marathon as well. I was honored to come second and the support I got from my fellow Sowetan and the Federation as well. It was amazing. So I think yeah. I would want to do the Soweto Marathon again next year, but next year I'm going for a win. Wow, wow. Congratulations, was again, Mr. Babaseka. And James, thank you so much for your time. No, thanks very much. All right, that was uh, James Moloi and Mapaseka. Uh, Mapaseka, who just won the Central Gauteng Sportswoman of the Year Award last night. Congratulations to